heading into the basement. Be careful. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. The blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. There's a small room. with a hole in the floor. I'm going inside. She killed the Veils. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But... I can't imagine what she went through. The Veils' foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. Bloody scratches, fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. One piece apart from the others. Red. Mm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... Those towers, that must be Arkham Asylum. Words, they're highlighted, taking me. Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. He spelled it out here. Taking me. And used Vicky's own drawing of Arkham for the location. Arkham? But people would know. The staff would see them. That's the final piece. Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon in the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise.
orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham will learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you've suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know? How I survived, I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me out. He's the crazy one.
Take your time, sons. That's the plan. Pleasure to see your work in person. Jesus. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. <laughs> You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. <sighs> Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne, but first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so much for one old man. deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than this one? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward. Leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. Wait. always meant to be. What about you? Do you
Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... you... you came... you came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Concern I don't have for you. Huh. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. To prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. You're only a piece in the bigger game, but... You're the only piece I... Alfred! <laughs> Over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge!
belong in this darkness, Batman. You'll be buried with me. You and the puddler. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it. It's better that they don't. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. Alfred, here, l let me help. No, no, don't. With everything that's been going on, I... I, uh, I haven't yet thanked you, Bruce. You've saved my life. I've no doubt Miss Vale would have killed me had you not arrived when you did. But the fact remains, in my state, I'm not of much use to you. It'll take time to adjust. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that, after everything that's happened. I promise you, I will use everything at my disposal to help you. Oh. Well, sure. I mean, the silver's not gonna polish itself, is it? <laughs> we will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. 
And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are. Batman will be in attendance. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. We are currently awaiting newly appointed acting police commissioner James Gordon, who will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. Batman! Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. It's an important day. Your first address to the city as acting commissioner. I wanted you to know that I stand with you. I want Gotham to know that there are those who will fight for them. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. The city's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them I stand behind you. You are the hero that Gotham needs, Commissioner. I hope I don't let them down. You won't. You know, I always wanted this. To be Commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this. I should probably be used to that by now. You know, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those citizens is Batman. He told me I was the hero the city needs. Well, I intend to live up to that, but I can't do it alone. I need all of you, too. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. United, strong, and hopeful. to lock up. Just minutes ago, Acting Commissioner James Gordon delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to top that. But I'll give it a shot. 